So this demonstration is about estimations being constant of the plastic spiral. The plastic spiral is a spiral what you use in your spiral binding. Let's have a look at the assembly. In the left side, we have got a scale and the right side with the spiral attached with a nail on the top and bottom on the plug bag to carry the load. Before we continue the experiment, we have to first, first take the weights. In our case, we will take some pieces of marble and using a spring balance, we are going to see what is the weight. Here is the spring balance. The first piece, the weight comes out to be 30 gram. The second piece, 60 gram. The third one, 90 gram. Now let's go back to the assembly again. Before you put the weight, let's see what is the initial length of the spring in our case the spiral. The total length is 25 centimeters. Now let's put the load on the zip lock bag attached below. Now it is increased. To 28 centimeter. Now let's put the second weight that is, that is 60 gram. Now it has gone to 31 centimeter. Let's try the 90 gram. 33 centimeter. Now we'll go back to the calculation. The first column is the number of observations and second column is initial reading that is 25 centimeter or 0.25 meter for all. That is the length of the spring in our case the spiral and the mass converted into the kilograms so 30 grams become 0.03 kilograms. Similarly, 60 grams becomes 0.06 kilogram, and 90 grams becomes 0.09 kilogram. The external force added is actually the weight of these masses. So here you consider the gravity as 10 9.8 for easy in calculations. So the force because of 0 0.03 kilogram mass becomes 0.3. Uh, Newton for 0 0.06 become 0 0.06, 0 0.06 become 0 0.6 Newton and 0 0.09 kilogram it become 0 0.9 Newton. The final reading convert into some meter become 0.28 for the 30 grams stone, 0.31 for the 60 gram and 0.33 for the 90 gram. So the change in the length of the spiral. The next column is 0 0.03, 0 0.06, and 0 0.08 respectively. As being constant, that is the total external force applied by the change in the length. So the value comes out to be 10 newton per meter and 30 grams, and 10 newton per meter for 60 gram, 90 gram 11.2. 5 newton per meter. So we calculate the variations from the mean and the last column shows around 4 percent, 4 percent, 8 percent respectively. So it is fairly precise. So roughly the spring constant of this spider is about, about 10 newton per meter. Thank you very much.